Hey, welcome to Evolve Core One. I'm Rebecca, and man, am I so happy to have you joining me in Core today. I promise to make you tap into your core and feel things you've never felt before. You're in good hands because I'm a core specialist. You ready to dig in? Let's get started with our warm up. Big breath in, arms reach up overhead. I want you to take yourself over to the right, keeping your head right in between your arms, up and over to the left. Just to wake up the sides of the body, now the spine rotates, bends, and flexes, and the core supports all that movement. And we need to be warmed up all over to attack the workout properly. Let's take our arms to the side. Rotate right and left. So you're gonna have three mods in your workout today. Mod one is gonna be the easiest, up to mod three, which is the most difficult. You can actually go up and down between any mod. This program was designed to allow you to do that and still get an effective workout. Go ahead and take your hands up overhead. Bring your palms together, and I want you to push in on your hands, almost giving me that prayer position. So you're gonna twist over to your right, bend your knees, hold it right here, back through center, and over to the left. Keep pushing your hands in towards one another. Just pressing your hands together is gonna really wake up the core. Keep pressing in on those hands. Try to keep your knees facing forward as you go through the whole time. So as you're pressing the hands in, you're gonna really feel the core woken up. So tutorials are gonna be the best way for you to get the moves broken down for you. Go check out Jana and see what's up. You can evolve up or mod down, depending on your level. We're gonna have mod one right here demonstrated by Marine. If you're working with an injury, if you're new to waking up your core, Marine's gonna be your girl. Let's go ahead and take our hands all the way up on an inhale. I want you guys to roll it down, walk out to a plank position, you just hold it right here for me. If you need to drop down to your knees, that's always an option and lift them back up, or you can come down to your forearms. I just want you to hold it here for a quick 15 seconds. So modification number two is gonna be shown by Stefan right here. So if you're okay with everything that's happening in mod one, and not quite ready for mod three, Stefan's gonna be your guide. Walk your hands in towards your feet, roll it all the way up, take a nice deep breath in, inchworms coming up, and we're gonna roll down, we're gonna walk out as far as you can go. Walk the hands back in and walk it all the way up. Modification number three is Char. So she's gonna be showing you the most advanced movements. So if you have your balance and you're already in touch with your core, Char's gonna be your girl. Once you've mastered that mod three here, then it's gonna be a great time to start thinking of evolving up into E2. Give me one more right here. Find a nice deep breath in. We're all gonna meet with our arms up overhead. I want you to place your hands on the small of your back with your fingers facing down. So it looks like this. Bring your feet right underneath you. I want you to softly bend your knees. I want you to press your hips forward and arch and look up. Come back through center. Curl the spine, drop the head down. We're gonna do that again one more time. Arch, press the hips forward protecting your lower back with your hands, and then curl the spine down. Last time, roll the shoulders down and back. Deep breath in, arms reach up. Now in this set, we're doing seven exercises followed by a cardio blowout, and then repeat it again. Let's go. Our first round of set A is gonna start off with a single leg deadlift YWT arms. It looks like this. Right leg goes back behind us, fire up that leg, take your hands up overhead. We're gonna lower down into that deadlift position. Your arms are out in that Y, pull them back to a W, extend out to a T, and reset, swing down and out. We're gonna stay on this right hand side for half the time. We're gonna switch over halfway through. Your time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. Think about an ironing board opening up. So you're gonna see Char right here, arms going, Y, pull it back, W, extend out, T, drop it down. So you're actually creating the letters with your body. Let's go ahead and switch sides right here. Lift up, carefully lower, left leg goes back behind you. And I'm actually gonna go check out Stefan and Mont too right here. His foot is not a floppy fish. No fish out of water back here. Just because it's behind you doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, right? You see his foot is now flexed up, his calf is engaged, his quad is engaged, and now his core. Everything travels up the body. Last three, two, one, and relax. Ballet squat is next. 
So I want you to turn your toes out. Beautiful turnout position. Hands are gonna go up overhead. I want you to lift up. We're gonna lower down for two, hold for one, lift for two, hold for one. Time starts in three, two, one. Here we go. So everything's gonna splay out. Nice and slow, pause at the bottom, and then lift on the way up. Dancing is such a challenging sport. It gives you so much balance. And hey, what's the hardest part of ballet? Getting the leotard on. Just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm a dancer and a gymnast myself. I know how hard it is. And this is not an easy move right here. So you're gonna see the knees go out. They go right down over that toe. Inner thigh is gonna lift all the way up. I think I have another dancer on my hands right here. Yep. Good. That's why her balance is so on point, and I know after many repetitions of ballet squats, you're gonna feel the same thing. Shake out the legs in three, two, one, coming down for hello planks. So we're gonna come into our nice forearm position. So I want you to come down, one hand in front of the other. We're gonna open up to our right hand side, take that right hand up, and we're gonna go for big waves, big hellos. Over here, come on and check me out. Half the time on the right, Half the time on the left, time starts three, two, one, and let's begin. Most importantly, what I want you to do is pack that shoulder up so it's directly over the elbow and it's super protected. So you're gonna see the back fully engaged and this top arm is giving me a nice weight. The only thing I want Maureen to change is to take her head in line with her body. We're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. Go ahead and switch forearms. She's gonna flex this foot for me. Press the inner foot down and it's gonna fire up. Just like I showed you with Stefan and that deadlift, it starts from the heel and goes all the way up to the head, right? So extending the head, I'm gonna do it one more time. It feels a little awkward, but everything does the first time through. You'll get used to it. Three, two, one, and relax. Our uptown crunch is coming up. So I want you to lay on your left hand side so your right side body is up to the ceiling. You're gonna take this left hand out in front of you Place your right hand behind your head. We're gonna bring our upper body, shoulder towards that right hip, and lower down. Upper body towards that hip, and lower down. Yes, just a tiny little movement. Again, I'm looking for here. Crunch to open, crunch to open. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. Now this is gonna be one of those movements where you're really gonna feel it first, and then you'll see it. with mod two right here. Now he's dropping and resetting after each rep, whereas mod three keeps her legs in the air at all times. Flip and switch sides. That's perfect. This looks great. So what I'm looking for is to see my fingers extended and then crunching in, pinch it right here. I want 10 more seconds, guys. No stopping right here. Final three, two, one. Nice work right there, guys. So the sneaky bear is coming up. I love this. We're coming on to all fours. Tuck the toes under. Slightly lift the knees. They should be in a hovering position. One little hand lift, one little knee lift. Hand and knee off the floor. So the knees are staying in a hover, and we're just lifting opposite hand and foot at the same time. Time's gonna start in three, two, one. Now, as you lift your hand and your foot, you want to be able to pause at the top for a full two seconds. Now, this is going to be the trickiest part right here. So even just holding the bare position, which is having your knees up off the floor, is challenging in itself. Think about your transverse abdominis. Think about it as the corset of your abs the actual part that's gonna help you just stay lifted. So lifting those knees up off the ground, which is Maureen's giving me right here, enough that my hands can slide underneath. Everything right here is holding. I can feel it engage. So it engages and then it relaxes. You feel that, yeah? Oh, yes. Okay, that's perfect right there. Keep it up for three, two, one, and we're going into our balancing press. So go ahead and stand it on up. First, I want you to go take your arms into goal post position, really tighten up those fists so the arms are nice and contracted. What we're gonna do is find our balance on our left leg. We're gonna extend our right leg back behind us to 45 degrees and press. Swing it over to the right and press. So every time you tap, your arms press at the same time. 
Yes, it's going to require a little bit of coordination. So if you need a tutorial, now's the time to go check it out. Three, two, one, let's begin. The further the leg goes back behind you in the range of motion, the more difficult it's going to be. So the arms press on the tap, it presses, and then it presses again, yes. So he's going from directly behind him out to the side. Now I want to see those elbows in line with your shoulders, good. Switching sides right here. So make sure not to press the arms back behind you and lead with the chest. It's not a Superman. I know we have Superman abs, but we need to keep the elbows in line. Three, two, one, and relax. Moving into our rotating Saxon. Arms up overhead, plant the feet, get nice and grounded. We're gonna lift up, over to the right, back through center, and we're gonna add a rotation. So up and over to the left, back through center, and over to the twist. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. No matter where your hand placement is, whether they're on your hips in Egyptian or up overhead, you're going to have shoulders stacked on top of your hips. What I want you to do is separate your rib cage from your hips. So what she's gonna do for me first, ready? Before we go left, you're gonna lift up first, stay low, just the rib cage and over. And now bring it back center and then find the twist. So it's almost like taking a deep breath in, right? We wanna go up and over to the right, back through center and then find the twist. One more right here. Find that twist over to the left, up and over. Aha, you see that? That's that nice lift right there. And three, two, one, relax. Here's our first blowout. It's gonna be our plank sequence. I need you guys to come down onto your forearms first. Just center, right in front of left. Get the shoulders over the elbows, time starts. In three, two, one, begin. So, planks are gonna be one of the quintessential core exercises. Like in all planks, including the center plank, foot position is important. The wider the feet, the more stability you have. And this is gonna be where you start. You have to have a solid foundation. This plank right here is gonna give you that. Feet together, heels are together, her kneecaps are pulled up, her booty is nice and tight, her lower abs are sucked in, her shoulder blades are spread apart, neck is nice and long, and her gaze is out in front of her. That's beautiful. Let's go open to our right in three, two, one. Open to the right hand side. Don't be fooled by how easy this exercise looks. It's not, especially if you want to keep perfect form. Don't just think about it as relying on this shoulder, right? You have this entire side body that's lifting you up. So anything lifted, aha. There's a whole powerful side body that can take you through this movement and make it feel so much easier if you actually pay attention to it. Let's switch sides in three, two, one. Right hand under, open up to that left. Get that left hand all the way up to the ceiling in mod three. You're gonna see in mod two right here, his feet are staggered. So he's on the inside of this top foot. Let the inside foot drop and the outer edge. So ankles are fired up, they're nice and locked. Lifting, hip to the floor, chest is open. Final four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, guys. You deserve a nice break of water. You have 45 seconds. Team, why don't you grab a sip of water, bring it back. Now listen, six packs are cool and all, but I think what I can do with my core blows any six pack out of the water. This is gonna make your life so much easier. It'll just blow your mind how many things that you do in a day that require so much core balance and strength. For example, how about standing up, shaving your legs in the shower, ladies? You're activating your entire core. So many things you don't even think about. Your body is requiring your core to fire up to do every single thing from the moment you wake up and get out of bed to the minute you go to sleep. You all ready? We're back into our second round of set A, starting with our single leg deadlift YWT. Right leg goes back behind you, shoelaces to the floor. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips for me. I want your fingers facing forward. Take your arms in your starting position. We're all gonna go together in four, three, two, one. Here we go. All the way out, flex that back foot. Arms pull back into that W, extend out into that T, and swing down and out. Now staying here in mod three is gonna be the challenge because you're requiring all your weight to be on that standing leg.
switch legs. So here's a little trick right here and I want you to try it at home. Pretend you're on the balance beam. I want you to see the end of that balance beam, whether it be here, whether it be close to you, and I don't want you to take your eyes off of it. That is gonna be your horizon. It's gonna help you stay right there. Final three, final two, one, and recover. Coming into our ballet squat. Nice and comfortable, arms up overhead, lift the heels up off the floor, lower down one, two, hold, lift, lift, hold. Time starts in three, two, one, make it a dance. So we're lowering down, everything goes out, you hold for a pause, and then lift up. You look like a ballet dancer. Oh, thank you. Nice and solid. This is good. Have you ever taken ballet? Nope. Are you sure? Uh-huh. You're a basketball player, right? That's right. You should, man. I promise it'll make everything better. I heard of that. You did, right? Uh-huh. You're like, hey, coach, <laughs> I want to throw us into some ballet some practices. <laughs> nice work. Take a deep breath in. You guys have about 10 more seconds right here. Really keep that focus in front of you. The balance beam trick still applies here, keeping that focus straight ahead. Three, two, one, and relax. Hello planks, starting down on our forearms, get set up in that equal sign with those arms. Stack the feet, open to the right, and big wave right here. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. Now, it's not a race, although if you saw a castaway, <laughs> Tom Hanks was definitely waving his arms pretty fast. Wilson. <laughs> exactly. Wilson, no. But he probably did some hello planks, right? Lots of time to work out when you're on an island by yourself. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Stack those feet, really fire it up, heel to head. Her head's in line with her body. This is beautiful. So you're keeping your head nice and neutral in your spine. You're gonna be able to breathe a lot better and the actual weight of your head is not gonna be conked forward so there's no impingement on your throat or on the back of your neck. Three, two, one, and relax. Moving right along into our uptown crunch. Go ahead and lay down on your left hand side. Take your left hand out in front of you, swipe the hair back behind your ears and just let your fingertips rest on that earlobe. So you're gonna lift your feet up off the floor and you're gonna bring your upper body towards your hip and crunch it in. Time starts in four, three, two, one, and let's begin. This is your point of target right here. So if I put my hand on the point of target, spread my fingers out as wide as I can, it should go from about six inches to about three inches. So we're looking to really contract that muscle, yes? You can see it on every single one of them. Switching sides right here. I want to see your left hand side. Get there as quickly as possible. No time to waste. So we actually have to get that hand down. Really crunching in. I don't need you to grab your love handles right here, yeah? We all got them. We can make it happen. All I want you to do is actually see that it's working. Muscle expands, it lengthens, and it contracts, it shortens. That's three, that's two, and that's one. Okay, the sneaky bear is coming up, back on all fours, tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the floor, starting with your right hand, left foot, and then switching, left hand, right foot. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. If you're starting with mod one right here, just lifting the knees, if you can hold it up for a while, go ahead and move on to mod two right here. You're gonna see, He's lifting one hand at a time. I want you to just bring your feet a little bit closer towards one another and make sure that your knees are pressing out so your knees are directly under your hips. You can walk your feet in a little bit more. That's it right there. A nice flat spine, head's nice and long so he's not tucking his tailbone under too far and he's not arching his back. So you don't want to have the arch in the back and you don't want to have the tuck. You want to have a nice neutral spine. Three, two, one, and relax. Our balancing press, let's stand it up, guys. Goal post arms, soft bend in that left leg. You're gonna press back, tap, swing the leg over, tap again. So the press happens on every single swing of the leg. Time starts in three, two, one, right side first. I don't wanna see any loose fists. It gets sloppy. No sloppy jalopies right here. Tight fists, tight arms. 
This chick's a rock climber right here. Her upper body is nice and strong. I know it. Look at these guns right here. They're dangerous. They set off metal detectors at the airport. Switch legs right here. And look at Mod 3. It's a swing, so her leg goes up and over. She's gonna go up and over my hand. Look at that. You're using your glute and your lower back. Your core consists of not just the front of your abs, but actually the back side of you too. They have to work simultaneously. Three, two, one, and recover. Coming up, the rotating Saxon. Hands up overhead, softly bend your knees, lift up and over to the right, back through center, rotate. Three, two, one, to the right, alternate to the left. Here we go. Keeping those arms equidistant. So it's almost as if you're pressing in. You ever seen those stability balls or the beach balls that you've played around with? You're gonna see Char pressing in on that ball, but it doesn't really matter where your hands are depending on your mod. Remember in that warm up when I had you press your hands together, the core activates, everything gets fired up. So pressing in on those hands, he's gonna press the palms out, open those hands up. You can still feel the core fired up. Maureen's gonna take her hands onto her hips, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. It's the rib cage that lifts up and over. Last time, baby. Over the left and twist to the left. Rotate it. Bring it back through center. Beautiful. And three, two, one, relax. Moving on to our final blowout of set eight, guys, our plank sequence. We're gonna fire through this a little bit quicker right here. So come down to the forearm plank. I wanna get in with you. Time starts in four, three, two, one. Again, right from the top. Holding right here. So it's gonna be a quick 15 seconds. I want you to stay up on your toes. Start to let your brain go for a little bit. Good work, everyone. This looks fantastic. Get so comfortable that you could sleep here the whole time, yeah? <laughs> Open up to that right hand side. Open up. There we go. Fire up those feet. If you were standing on the curb, this is a loose ankle, this is a tight ankle. So I want you to think about that in your plank right now. Switch to the center, center plank. Squeeze the booty. Open up to the right again. Right side, right side, right side. Yeah. Hold it here for four, three, two. Go ahead and switch sides right here. Trading out your hands, open up to the left. Now we're gonna hold it here for about 10 seconds. It's good to know where you're headed, right? Yeah. Exactly, we like to know what's going on. You have about six more seconds. Pull up from the kneecap. Again, close the chest a little bit. Hips in line, that's great. Three, two, back to center. Open up to the right. Four, three, two, one. Open up to the left. Four, three, two, one. Hold center. Four, three, two, one. Open up to that left for that last side. Four, three, two, one, and drop it down. You earned yourself a 45 second break. So please go ahead and grab some water. You guys have 45 seconds to start to cool it down. So I know you're probably not sweating too much right here, but definitely go ahead and grab some water because your body needs it. So the core consists of 29 muscles. Everything between the diaphragm at the top and the pelvic floor and girdle at the bottom. So think about everything wrapped around. Get the image of a six pack out of your head because without a strong front, the back is weak. And without a strong back, the front is weak. Moving into our first round of set B, we're back at it and we're gonna start off with the hay baler. Take your feet out a little bit wider than hip distance apart, toes face forward. We're gonna squat down, grab that bale of hay, throw it up and come right back down. Right side, half the time, left side, half the time. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. So no matter what mod you're gonna give me here, the intensity needs to be high. In mod one, Maureen's gonna give me a little bit less range of motion, but her intensity is still the same. You guys, amazing work. If I need to see you grab it and throw it. Go ahead and switch sides. Let's see it, Char. All the way down, she gets full range of motion in mod three, down outside of that left knee, left shin, and all the way up to that top corner. Grab it down and throw it. You can throw something heavier than that. That's more like it. Do it again. See? You can see it in your face, in the breath. You have five, four. Come on, Char. Three, two, 
One, and relax. Shake it out, we have our bushwhacker coming up. I love this one, man. Feet step together. We're gonna take our hands up and over to the left. We're gonna chop it down to the right and come right back up. Chop it down, come right back up. Mod three doesn't put her foot down in between lunges. Time starts in three, two, one. And we're gonna come down into a lunge. You give me the squat in this last one, you give me the lunge here, but what's actually rotating your upper body and giving you a little bit more range of motion in your abs and your lower back. Now, if you ever come in contact, let's switch sides with a spider web. This is your go-to move. Everything out of the way. <laughs> Immediately. So just take a note of what's happening here. We're not just working our core. We're actually working our legs at the same time. Relax in three, two, one. Let's come down for our pledge push-up. It's gonna look like this. Feet are back behind you. We're gonna come down for a push-up for one, two. We're gonna hold for one, push up, and tap that opposite shoulder. Down, down, hold, push, hold. Down, down, hold, push, hold. Okay, time starts in three, two, one. Lower down. So your push-up can come from a few different areas, either all four points in M1, M2, you're gonna also come from your knees, and M3, we're gonna take it up into full push-up plank. But we're asking you to transfer the weight onto one hand. If you need to drop down into mod one, it's absolutely fine. We're looking on transferring weight, finding the balance in the core, and this is not an exercise where when your hands lift, your hips lift. So you notice that it's impossible to lift your hips while your knees are on the floor. I want you to think about this the same way right here. While her knees are on the floor, her knees are facing the floor. That means her hips are also facing the floor. Don't lift and twist just because your knees are up. You have three, two, one, and relax. Stand it up, guys. We have our front side back balance coming up right here. So you're gonna take your left foot standing, your right foot comes in front, it's gonna come through the middle, extend it out to the side, back through center, not touch the floor, back behind you. So you're hitting front, side, back, together. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. So here's one of those tricks that I wanna give you, because I love you. You have trouble finding your balance, and the balance beam trick isn't working for you. Try this, and I want you guys to all do this with me as well. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and push up gonna immediately take everything in your center of gravity up. Go ahead and switch legs. Is your tongue on the roof of your mouth? In mod three, notice how she doesn't touch down right here. She's staying balanced on that right leg. You're gonna see everything lifted and there's no bobble in the balance. It stays totally strong on that standing leg. In three, last one, two. Beautiful. Shake it out, coming down to our back for our supine Frankenstein. So we're lowering down onto our back. Our hands are gonna go up overhead. Everything comes up off the floor, and we're gonna go lift and lower. Lift and low. Head stays flat on the floor, shoulders stay flat on the floor. Time's gonna start in three, two, one, begin. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Now you're gonna see Marie in mod one, keep her hands and her feet on the floor. That's A-OK. -okay. Lifting everything up to that center, can come up a little higher, yeah? You got this girl, come on, breathe through it, nice. So we're finding that nice extension right over her hip, and then her arm goes directly over her shoulder. So she's not passing that center mark like you're gonna see in M3. She's gonna stay lifted in that hollow position. You feel your entire core engaged, right? I feel her abs engaged right here. It's gonna come from her hip, right, initially, and the lower abs are gonna sink in. Everything's gonna work together. Shoulders working, legs working, hamstrings getting a nice stretch. Final three, final two, final one, and relax. Moving on into our prone snow angel. So lay down on your belly. We're gonna take our hands down by our side, thumbs up. We're gonna lift up into that nice snow angel position. This is the back side. We're gonna open up and scoop it right back together. Open up, scoop it right back together. Stay lifted off the floor. Time starts three, two, one, begin. In mod three, you're gonna see the widest snow angel she could possibly get. 
you're looking for that huge wide arms and legs then pull it right back together and every single time you pull it back is an opportunity for you to get even higher she lifts and it's a spread out it's beautiful Stefan's gonna give me that in mod too so he's gonna have a nice lower down to kind of a little break lift and extend bring everything back together and lower back down that release on the lower back is really going to help while you're learning how to extend from the back side of the body, this entire posterior chain working right here. You have three, two, one, and relax. Standing up for our infinity balance. Come on up, guys. I want you to grab hold of an imaginary balloon, okay? So I want you to have it out in front of you, and I want you to stand solid on that left leg, keeping your right leg out in front of you. Whoa, there we are. Okay, so while you're solid, we're gonna extend our arms into a nice infinity shape right here, pressing into that balloon and never letting it go. So this can't happen. It has to be one balloon, man. Three, two, one, and let's go. So a balloon could potentially pop, right? If you're squeezing it hard enough, I want it to almost get to that point where it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller so that it can almost pop. It's like that movement that I had you do right at the beginning where your fingertips and your palms are pressing in. It's the core engaging in. It's that transverse abdominis that I was talking about right from the beginning. Let's switch sides. It's that corset wrapping around. I'm sure you've never worn one. Don't worry about it. I just want you to think about it, right? You've seen Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, I have. You know when he tightens up her corset so, so, so tight that she can't breathe anymore and she passes out? Well, that's like you actually have an internal one inside of you. I want you to feel it wrapping around and keeping you nice and secure. Three, two, one, and relax. We have our blowout, baby. Quick feet and single leg side bound with a hole. So it looks like this. Your quick feet start you off. You're going to take your arms up overhead. We're going to jump over, balance, jump over, and balance. Time starts three, quick feet two, one. Let's begin right here. Get it, Marine. Nice and low. I hear lots of loud noise right here. I want you guys to quiet it down for me. Nice and quiet. Can you sink a little lower? Hips down. Chest a little higher. Sink your hips a little lower. Chest a little higher. Right bound. Three, two, one. Right bound. Hold. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Left bound. Hold. Hold it. Right bound. Left. Right. Left, hold it. Ooh, no feet down, no feet down, no feet down. Come on, Stefan. Quick feet, three, two, one, go. Quick feet, ha. Move it back. Move it forward. Move it back. Hold it. Get a little lower. Get a little lighter. I want to hear light rain, light rain. Come on, guys. Light rain. Get a little heavier rain. Thunderstorms. Right bound, three, two, one. Right bound, hold, stick it. In gymnastics, it doesn't count unless you stick and hold. If you bobble, you lose points. Left bound, hold. Right bound, hold. Hold it right here. When you get to this left side, I don't want you to bobble. Three, two, one, jump. Over to the right, hold it. Do not bobble. Over to the left, final. Four, three, two, one. One, and that, my friends, is it. You guys deserve a break. That's 45 seconds on the clock for you. Please go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it. Towel off. Probably not too much sweat today, but hey, we're working from the inside out this time. Just think about it. The more you do, the better you'll get. Do the primal challenges to see for yourself. The more you participate and evolve, the more you'll evolve. How you guys feeling? Good. I love it. Up top. Give me some sugar. High five, low five. Yes, up top, down low, nice, get it Char. Okay guys, second round of set B, starting from the top with our hay baler. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, grab that bale of hay, down nice and low, throw it up over the shoulder. Down, three, two, one, right hand side. Step, twist. So your core, your internal and external obliques are made for you to twist, to rotate, to bend, they're gonna actually help you get through most of your day. If you're ever driving and you're reaching back behind you, you reach over to grab the cup out of the cupboard. For switching sides right here, you reach over to grab the coffee pot, to pour it 
all the little things that we don't even think about, it comes from here, it comes from your core. Exhaling every single time. You exhale, the belly sinks in, the core fires up, and then the movement begins. Every movement should begin and end with a breath. Inhale, exhale. That's three, two, one, and relax. Our bushwhackers next, step your feet back together. So you had your squat right there, one of your primal movements. Another primal movement is your lunge. Go ahead and raise your arm up over your left hand shoulder, chop it down, and you're gonna come back to that balance. Chop it down, back to the balance. In three, two, one, right side first. Here we go. From the moment I feel any cobweb on me, this is my go-to move. Just chop it down, Maureen, get it. Get it out of the way. Nice. She's gonna give you a little pause right here in M1, right? A little tap of the foot just to check yourself and get right back into it. Let's switch sides right here, guys. Switch sides. So up over the right shoulder and chop it down. His knee is still facing the floor. Get this right knee down to the ground. There we go. So it's not touching, it's just a hover. You're still gonna give me that 90 degree bend, right? The twist in the core. Exhale, inhale up, exhale down. I wanna hear your sword, right? Lightsaber all the way down, get it. Nice, three, two, one, and relax. Our pledge push-up, come on down. Plank position, feet are hip distance apart. You're gonna move your elbows out to 45. Hold one, press, and tap. Down for two, hold for one, push for one, tap for one. Time starts in three, two, one. Let's take it nice and low. Push-ups are one of those moves. You might hate them, but you need to learn to love them because they're gonna work your body from head to toe. They are one of the best full body movements that you could possibly do. Beautiful, that's excellent. Think about how much you weigh. You don't need to tell me, keep it a secret. You're using your entire body weight right here to push up. That's asking a lot of your body. Push-ups are not easy. But the only way that they're gonna get easier, and Shar, you're gonna back me up on this, is that the more you do, the easier they get. Yes? Very true. Exactly. So go give me 100 every day. Good. Okay guys, three, two, one, and recover. We have our front side back balance, so stand it on up. We're gonna go ahead and take that standing leg, left leg down first, arms reach out to the front. You're not gonna tap that foot down through center. It's gonna come through center, out to the side, not touch the floor back behind you. So it goes front, side, back, and keeps going. No tapping the foot in mod three. Three, two, one, right side first. Let's find a pause each direction that we go to, right? So he has nice long arms. The further away your fingers are from your body, the more weight you're gonna have to hold up. So he automatically has a natural challenge. So what I want him to do is keep his shoulders away from his ears, really extend through those fingers. There we go. Switching legs right here, everyone. So you see an M1 right here. Maureen's gonna tap her toe out. Really extend back behind you. Full extension. Give me one more pass right here. Full extension that foot, tapping it in the center. So that way you're being really specific with your movement. You have three, two, one, and relax. Let's come down for supine Frankensteins. Okay, so the way this works is that you're gonna lay down on your back and your hands and feet are gonna be nice and lifted off the floor. So the head is staying down. You're gonna reach your right hand and left leg up. Left hand and right leg up. Time starts in three, two, one, and let's begin. Good form means having your head in line with your spine. Your head is on the floor, your shoulders are on the floor, natural curve of the spine, and then the hips are on the floor. The lower abs are sucked in, the rib cage is nice and closed. There's so many things to think about. So you're gonna see Maureen tapping her feet and hands down on the floor for a release, and then bringing them up to a nice full 90 degrees. Stefan's giving that intermediate. He's actually putting together both M1 and M3, where he's keeping it lifted and then taking a nice lower down in between. Final one right here. You got one more? Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Lift that leg a little higher up to my hand. That's it right there. Three, two, one. Nice work, everybody. Okay, we're gonna have our prone snow angel. So flip it over on your belly and lay down. Your hands are gonna come down by your side. Your face is looking down at the floor, so you're not looking out in front of you. 
Exhale, lift all the way up to that full prone position in Cobra. Open up, squeeze it back. Open up, full extension, squeeze it back. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. The mobility of your shoulders will determine how far you can reach overhead. For those of you with tight shoulders, M1 is a perfect starting point as you pause and rest at each end. If we're always hunched over, this is your natural posture most of the time. What do you feel like when you sit up in the morning? You're hunched over at the bed. Roll the shoulders back, pull the head back in line with the spine, close the rib cage, suck everything in. This is happening right here on the back. A strong backside is automatically going to start to pull everything back behind you. So the entire posterior chain is firing up. She's going to give me one more, and on this time she's going to lift as she comes back. And three, two, one, lower down. Good job, everybody. Stand it on up for that infinity balance. And we're going to start standing on our left-hand side. So the right leg is lifted. And this time, instead of grabbing an imaginary balloon, I want you to pretend like it's a medicine ball. It's going to be heavier, OK? So I need to see that change in your upper body and actually give some weight to your core. Still creating that nice infinity shape. Time starts in three, two, one. Let's go on this right-hand side. So a ball would be nice and small, right? The medicine ball doesn't have to be too small. I'm going to actually be the ball. I want you to press into my hands, and I'll just follow you around. So you feel that resistance, right? So not only is his core firing up, but his leg is actually his connection to the ground. So you have to find your balance from your ankle up. Go ahead and switch legs. Pressing the big toe of that standing foot into the floor is going to help you create a nice stable foot. Pressing this big toe into the floor, there it is, so that it comes all the way up from the heel, up the knee, squeeze the glute, tighten up the core, really press those hands together. You have three, two, one, and relax. Here's our blowout. It's our quick feet and single leg side bound with a hold. Okay. Getting nice and low. Y'all ready? ready? Yes, we are. Team, in three, two, one, quick feet. Let's go. I want you to think of a nice light rain in springtime. Nice light rain. You can close your eyes. You don't need to see where you're going. You're not moving around. Now I want you to make the noise of a nice thunderstorm. I can get a little louder than that. A little louder than that. Come on, guys. In three, <laughs> two, over to the right, bound, hold. Three, two, one, left, hold. Four, three, three and a half, <laughs> two, over to the right, hold it. Over to the left, hold it. Over to the right, ah, oh, get it. Three, two, tighten up that foot. Nice, back to quick feet right here, let's go. Quick feet, quick feet. You have 45 seconds, you guys are halfway through. You do not quit on me right here. Power it up. All those primal movements that you were giving me are now coming to life right here. Get lower. Chest higher. Get lower. Move forward. Move forward, move forward. Move center, move center. Over to the right. Three, two, one. Over to the right and hold. Over to the left and hold. If you're feeling any sort of instability right here, I need you to plant that foot. Lift up nice and high. Over to the right. Over to the left. Over to the right, over to the left. Hold four, three, two, quick feet, let's go. Five, come on, come on everybody, four, everybody, three, two, one. And that, my friends, is it. You've earned yourself a 45 second break. Please go ahead and take it. Grab a sip of water. High five, low five, I loves it. High fives for everyone. That's for you too. Okay, so listen, there's so many layers of the core. You have to pay attention to every single one of them or you're gonna end up with a weak link. In the front, you're gonna have your rectus abdominis. That's your six pack. You're gonna have your internal and external obliques layered. Your transverse abdominis, your QLs. On the back side, you're gonna have your erector spinae, your multifidus. Everything works together as a team. No, you don't have to know every single one of those terms, but you do need to know that in order for your body to even just bend down and tie your shoe, every single one of those muscles just worked. Think about that. Y'all ready to hit our first round of set C? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do this with our overhead squat. So you're gonna take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, bring your hands up overhead, dorsiflex the hands. That means trays on hands. Sink your hips back, hold for one, 
lift for one, hold for one. So we go down, down, hold, lift, and hold. Let's begin in three, two, one. Are you working your core doing squats? Heck yeah. As Char goes down in Mod 3, she's gonna hit 90 degree squat. Her core is completely engaged on the down and on the up. Her legs are completely engaged as she stands up. It's still her core activating the movement and holding tight. It's that glue between the upper and the lower body. So if you look between the three different mods, what's happening? Only the degree of the squat is gonna be different. You're gonna see 90 in M3, you're gonna see a 70 degree squat in M2. Stefan, hit it. Close the rib cage. Nice. And then lift. M1 right here, we're gonna get a 30 degree squat. Legs are still gonna be on fire, flexing through the palms of the hands. Three, two, one, and relax. Our single side airplane's coming up next. So it's sort of like that deadlift we started off with today. Put that right leg back behind you. Arms are gonna come out to a T. We're gonna flex up that back foot. Once you find your full extension, you're gonna drop your hand down, open your back hand up, and come through center. This is a really challenging move, so if you need to come out of it and regain your balance, go ahead. Time starts in three, two, one, starting on the right side for half the time, and then we'll go into the opposite side. What I really need to see is a straight back leg with all of the leg and back muscles engaged. So just because it's back behind you doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You need a strong back side of your body to have the complete core package. Strong back, strong front. Let's switch legs right here. And I need you to actually extend through this back foot. So straighten out the leg, no matter how low it is, fire up the foot. A strong, straight leg is what I'm looking for. Don't collapse in the chest as you come forward. Maintain a straight line, just find a twist. It's like when an airplane does a barrel spin. In three, two, one, and relax. We're coming down for our draw bridge, so lay down on your back right here. Okay, so our hands are gonna be out to the side. Now, I want you to lift your toes up off the floor, lift the hips, hands are in line with the shoulders. Now, as we walk out and walk in, every single step allows you to raise a little bit higher. Back side of the body stays lifted. It's your drawbridge. You're walking out, walking in. Three, two, one, begin. Four steps out, four steps in in mod three. In mod two, you're only gonna take two steps out and the legs are gonna be less extended. Marine in mod one is only lifting her hips up and down. The hips are naturally gonna drop a little bit just because the feet are further away from you. So what I want you to do every single step on the way in is start to think about higher and higher and higher, right? Hamstrings engaged, glutes engaged, lower back lifted. And when you're lifting your lower back up, pressing the lower abdominals sink in. Fingernails pressing down into the floor. The chest is nice and wide. The chin is off the chest, but you should be able to breathe. Relax in three, two, one. Looking good, guys. Reverse crunch, don't go too far. We're staying down on our back. So with the reverse crunch, you're gonna find your knees in tabletop position. Your legs are going straight up over your hips. You're going up to the ceiling and lowering back down. Up to the ceiling, lowering back down. Now, heels driving straight up. Time starts in three, two, one. So here's something to think about. Know the surface that you're laying on. If you're on a wood floor, go ahead and put something underneath your back. Flexing through the feet, heels go straight up. So you have to come in slightly, lift up and out. So you're gonna see Stefan right here. He has that 90 degree bend in his knees and he's gonna keep his feet and knees together, right? Nice, that's perfect. So it's just a tiny bit of a lift just to get the tailbone up off the floor and a little bit of that lower back. In mod one, knees come up less than in mod two and there's even a slighter lift of the tailbone. All right, give me one more right here, knees up into the chest. And three, two, one, relax. Nice work, don't go too far. We have our downtown crunch coming up. So I want you guys to lay down on your left hand side, make a pillow for your head and place your right hand in front of you. Extend the legs off, lift the top leg just a little bit and we're gonna stay down on the ground with our upper body and it's just the lower body lifting and lowering. Make sure the bottom leg doesn't touch the ground on mod three. Time starts in three, two, one, let's begin. So 
So we're looking for the hip to come up to the shoulder, pressing through this bottom hand right here, using the floor as your tool. So you're gonna stay on the side for half the time. We're gonna flip and switch halfway through. Now I want you to visualize a nice caterpillar walking. As they walk, they start out nice and long. Let's switch sides. And as it walks, it curls up. It gets that nice curled shape and then it expands back out. So here's the caterpillar. It's nice and long, it walks and it spreads back out. It curls and it spreads back out. I wanna see that caterpillar every single time. Really flex those feet, fire up the legs. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming into a plank march, let's flip over onto our bellies. We're gonna start in a stacked position with our arms. So right in front of left, feet are hip distance apart. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Time starts in four, three, two, one. So lowering down, elbow, elbow, up to hand, hand. Now initially, you're gonna feel it in your shoulders because they burn out a lot quicker than your abs. Maybe the next time or the fifth or 10th time that you do this, you're gonna end up feeling it in your abs, I promise. In mod one, I can see her abs twisting just a little bit. It happens naturally as you press from bottom to top. Now your shoulders are keeping a lot of your upper body, right? But it's the core that's actually gonna facilitate your twist and lift. It's your anchor. It keeps you from rocking, it keeps you from bending, from falling over, it catches you. Three, two, one, and relax. Not going too far, guys. We're going into our single leg get-ups and it comes from plank position. So jumping onto your right leg, standing up, down, out, left leg, land, stand, down, out. Time starts, three, right leg, two, and one. So we land, we stand, drop, extend. Land, stand, drop, extend. I want you to try to make the get up one explosive motion. Land on one foot and balance for a second before standing straight up. Now you're gonna notice in M1 right here, she's going to stand, come down to her knees first, lower down into all fours, and then do it again. So she's transferring her weight from her hands to her knees to a stand and still finding your balance at the top because if you notice, her foot's not touching as she stands. You ready for this? There it is, nice. In M2, we're gonna step that leg in. So the leg steps in and stands up, lowers down, finish right here for me, Stefan. Three, two, one, good work. Awesome, guys. Okay, here's our blowout. Our first one of set C, it's gonna be jump twist and semi-squat rotator. I want you to take your feet wider than hip distance apart. Our semi-squat rotator, we're gonna have our hands clasped and we're going side to side. Cool. We're starting off with our jump twist right here. Time starts in three, two, one, side to side. I want those feet going 90 to 90, not 45, 45. Get on the line and I want your toes to face either way. You look right here, we get that salsa going on. It's nice and fun. Heart rate's still getting up. It's not too slow. Once you get the pattern down, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. If you can't figure it out, Jana's gonna provide you with a nice little salsa lesson in the tutorial. Go check it out. Good, Stefan. Keep your heels glued together. So I don't want the toes to come in and the heels to go out. I want them moving together. There it is, nice work. Shar, we all right with those hands up overhead, right? Looks like a party, baby. You have four, three, two, jump the feet out, clasp the hands, right and left, right and left. Full rotation, she's gonna hit it side to side. But what I want you to do is notice, sometimes this happens, and I need you all to notice too, that just because your hands are out in front of you, doesn't mean this happens. This needs to happen, shoulders down and back, and the hands can drop. That's so much better, I knew you would fix it. Good adjustment right here. Keep the hips right underneath you, tuck your tailbone back just so slightly, beautiful, that's great. Awesome work right here. You have five. Jump twist in three, two, one. Here we go. Come on, guys. We got this. Marine, I love it. You have eight more seconds, and so we're going to finish with that rotator. You all ready? Four, three, two, one. Take it down. Here we go. Side to side. Nice. Get those Russian arms right here. Elbows lifted. Big old smile on your face. You have four, three, two, one. And you got yourself a break. Nice work right there. Killer 90 seconds, man. Please go have some water. I'm gonna grab some myself because hey, you need water to actually flush out everything in your body. Toxins and a bunch of other impurities, plus it makes you feel great. 
You don't have to be sweating to be working up a storm. All this core work is asking a ton of your body. Whether you feel it now or you feel it a little bit later. Moving on to our second round of set C. It's going to start with our overhead squat. Y'all ready? Yes. We got this. Okay, feet wider than hip distance apart. Flex those hands, drop the shoulders first, shake the hair out, and we're going to sit down for two, hold for one, lift for one, hold for one. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. Lower, lower, hold, lift, and hold. The tempo is going to stay the same for all my mods. The only difference is the degree of the squat. Rib cage is nice and closed. This is open, bring my fingertips together. Thank you. It happens on an exhale. You can try this at home. So just stand in front of your mirror whenever you get a chance. Put your hands on your rib cage. And as you take a deep breath, your hands are naturally going to separate. And as you exhale, they're going to come back together. So our closed rib cage is when the fingers are together. It happens on your exhale. Three, two, one, and relax. Our single side airplane's coming up. Draw that right leg back behind you. Take your arms out into a T. Thumbs are up, shoulders down and back. Lower down into that nice deadlift position. So once your chest is in line with the floor and your back leg, you're gonna rotate that right hand down, left hand to the ceiling, back through center, rotate and lift. Time starts in three, two, one. Right side first, left side second. I want you to keep a nice, solid standing leg. Keep those hips nice and closed. Remember, we did that hip check at the beginning. The first time we did the deadlift, you had your hands on your hip and the leg back behind you. I don't want it turned out position. I want it nice and parallel. Let's switch legs right here. And that applies as you go down. Watch my hands. They're going to be in a nice parallel position. If I open my hip, I'm now turned out. Stay parallel. If you want to actually practice it, you can put your hands here and just lean forward. Then you know what's happening, right? You don't even need a mirror. It's something you can feel. Three, two, one, shake it out. Come down for that drawbridge. Laying down on our back, our hands are out to our side. Bring the heels in as close as you can. Lift up the hips, walk the feet out for four. In for four, time starts in three, two, one. Let's begin. Picking up the pace just a little bit. Now, here's a little trick. If you're looking for a bit more balance or help getting the hips up a little higher, you're going to bring your hands down a little bit lower. I want you to extend through the fingers, press the fingernails into the floor. The fingertips have so many nerve endings, right? So don't relax the hands down. If you extend them and let the fingernails press into the floor, even if your palms are up, you're actually opening up all the fascia lines on the front side of your body too, so that as you lift, everything's starting to work together. Let it all work together. Don't get lazy in any area of your body. You got this, Maureen? Oh, yes. One more right here. Lift, hold, and three, two, one, relax. Nice work, guys. Our reverse crunch is here. Stay down on your back. Take your hands out into a nice wide T position. Feet are going to be flexed. Heels up and lower, up and lower. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. In mod one, you're keeping the head flat on the floor, looking up at the ceiling, the chin's off the chest. It's just the tailbone lifting up off the floor. In mod two, those knees come into his chest and come right back out. Char is giving me those heels up to the ceiling. Something I see happen all the time is that you move too quickly up to mod three and it ends up a rock. A rock and the feet fall down. You have to control momentum, not let momentum control you. Just lift those heels, lower down, not an easy move. Heels go up to the ceiling, give me one more shot, three, two, one, and relax. Laying down on our left hand side, we have our downtown crunch. Make a pillow with your head, place your right hand in front, and we're going to go ahead and lift our hip up, down, hip up, down. In three, two, one, start lifting right here. Her bottom leg is not going to tap the floor. It's almost as if she's holding an imaginary balloon in between her feet, so the inner thighs are activated. Who says that you can't work your core while you work the rest of your body? It's going to happen in every single workout. We're just honing in on that core today, right? Switching sides right here. Let's go onto that left-hand side up. 
Right pillow down. Time waits for no one. Get that head on that pillow. Flex through this foot, extend through the leg, and really go ahead and lift. So that top hand in front of you can really be that guide that helps you get into the floor, stay lifted in the chest, and really get long in the core. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Coming forward into our plank march, starting down with stacked arms. Feet are hip distance apart. We're going up, up, down, down. Left hand, up, up, down, down. Time starts in three, two, one, and begin. So we go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. I really want you to consider what's happening in your hips. Every time we're coming up from our forearms to our hands, the hips need to stay directed down. That way the belly button is actually still facing down. And when you come back down, I want you to spread your shoulder blades apart, 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 apart. You can bring your hands in a little bit wider. Yes. So the difference is we're not going to be squeezing our shoulder blades together, but we're going to be pushing them apart. Keep it nice and tight right here, guys. You have three, you have two, and one. Stay in that plank. We're going for our single leg get-ups. Jump that right foot in. Land, stand, down, out. Land, stand, down, out. Time starts in three. Right leg two, and one. Land. Stand, down, out, left side, land, stand, down, out. Now, as you get better, you can pick up the pace a little bit, right? All I want to see is transferring from upper body to lower body and taking the chest up in the sky at the end. Make sure the hands are going to be flat on the floor. Flat hands, there we go. The fingertips can carry a lot of weight, but the last thing you want to do is collapse down have any thumbs rolling right here. Hands go flat all the time. Step that foot in, stand up nice and tall. This is it, final five seconds. Let's go in three, two, stand up for one. Our blowout is next. We have our jump twist and our semi-rotator squat. Okay, hands up overhead. Time's gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go. Right to left, right to left. So keeping that chest facing forward. I want you to think about the yummiest treat and know that it's totally worth it. After you do these extended programs, man, over and over, you're just racking up the cheat days. <laughs> well, that's what I tell myself sometimes. Treats aside, start thinking about what you're going to eat post-workout. You'll need it. It's going to make you feel good from the inside out, just like this workout does right here. How you doing, Salsa Queen? Oh, good. Can I get it in with you? Ready to go dance. Come on, Marie. A little bit quicker than that. Hip. Hip, ole, ha-ha. Oh, I like it, the arms, there we go. You have four, you have three, rotator two and one. Hands out in front, shoulders down and back. Side to side, twist. Fire up the core. Remember what I said, squeeze the shoulder blades back behind you. Now you can squeeze the shoulder blades back. Lift the hands up, higher, higher, higher. There we go. I don't want you to cover that pretty face, but I do want them right here. I should be able to see everything in front of me. Back into the twist. In three, two, one, jump twist. Overhead, here we go. Get it up, Char. Feet together. Nice heels together right here. You got this. How are you guys feeling? Feel good. Great. It feels good to get the heart rate up, man, right? You have four, three, two. Rotator right here. Rotator. Side to side. Finish off nice and strong. Y'all gonna help me count it down, right? Ready? In three, two. One, that is it. Up top, get it, Char. Nice work. You guys did so good, Maureen. I gotta give it up to you. You did awesome. That's a high five for you, too. You deserve one. After you guys grab a sip of water, bring it back, we're gonna get cooled down together. Okay, I want that inchworm. And when you walk out, we're gonna go into a nice up dog. It looks like this. I'm gonna show you one. Walk out, oh, arch and look up and then sit back into child's pose. All you're gonna do is shift up and hips back. Walk it down in three, two, one. Start to really open up the core and then release the lower back. So the primal challenge is a tangible marker to see where you are at now and to track your progressions. Use the results to motivate you to keep going. So go check it out. Press those hips into the floor. I want you to get the chin forward and shoulders away from your ears, nice and long. Slightly bend your elbows, nice. And now hips back 
and press it all the way down. Beautiful. A little crack here and there never hurt nobody, right? That's great. Shift the hips back one last time. Stay into child's pose right here. Flip your palms up to the ceiling. Nice. So now we're just opening the shoulders. We were just in plank for a long time. This is just rotating the shoulders in the opposite direction, getting a nice stretch. Flip the palms back down. Trail the hands down back behind you. Roll it all the way up to a seated position. Come up to a nice kneeling position. You can tuck your toes back behind you, or you can leave your toes on the floor. Either is fine by me. Reach your left hand up, over to the right. Nice slight reach right here. Up through center. Switch the hands up and over to the left. Back down. Take your hands flat on the floor. We're gonna go into a nice cat and a nice cow. Arch and look up. Curl the spine, reach. And arch and look up. One more time, just like that. Curl the spine, really manipulate it right here. This is your flexion and this is your extension. Arch and look up. Come back to neutral. Tuck the toes under. Slightly walk your hands back in. We're gonna start to roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your arms hang like empty coat sleeves, nice and heavy. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take your feet out nice and wide, and let's finish off with a zen swing. You guys, I'm so proud of you today. That core one makes you tap into something you probably haven't felt in a long time. And I'm so happy that we went there. It only gets better. Take your feet together. Finish off with a nice deep breath in. Arms reach up. Exhale down, hands to heart center, and give yourself a round of applause. That, my friends, was the extended program of Core One. Congratulations. Bring it in, guys. This is my team. I'm Rebecca, and this is Evolve.